up y'all and welcome back to another one. Oh, today we are doing one of the most requested videos of all time it seems like. We did the 410 duck hunt challenge and it worked out great with the TSS tungsten uh, shells from Federal. Today, I'm just sending it boys, we're gonna try it out. We're gonna send it on a, on a snow goose hunt. Uh, well, there's four of us today and I'm gonna take the 410 bolt action. 410 bolt action is actually my first shotgun I ever had. Uh, so we're gonna take it today. And we're gonna take the Rite three and a half shooting three inch shells just for backup. Oh yeah, this bad boy right here. This is my Stevens model 410 and she's a bolt action like I said. And I love this gun. It's an absolute blast to shoot. It's small, compact, and let me tell you with the bolt action, uh, it's a hoot trying to get off two shells. But this is what I'm going to be using today, the TSS 410. Like I said, this shot here is pure heavyweight TSS tungsten. Pure tungsten from Federal. It's actually a turkey load. And I only have two boxes of these shells and uh, there, <laughs> there's only five shots per box. So today I only have 10 shells total. But that's only for the 410. Like I said, I'm also taking the Rite for backup. But what I think I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have the guys back me up. Hopefully we have a single or two come in, and on that single, I'll try to take the first shot and they can back me up. But guys, like always, I have to tell you, if you guys want to help support the channel and help me bring you more of these videos just like this, yeah, just like this one right here, you guys know what to do. Go down in the description, hit the Ducks Waterfowl link, and pick you up something from Ducks. See if there's something over there you like. If you do pick up something, it does in fact go directly to your boy and help me bring you guys more of these videos. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. I was also going to tell you that the booking for the lodge for the outfitter is about to be underway. So just keep your head, keep your eyes, keep your ears open because I'm going to be announcing how to book your hunt with me. So just stay tuned y'all and and I gotta pick a name for the outfit, and I gotta owe you guys a hat, a duck's hat. So, yep, remember I had you guys comment and pick a name for the lodge? We're getting there. How many do you think we'll kill today? Oh, probably 20. 20? That's, yep. We're getting to bars, we're running late. There's already been one small group get up. Uh, there's four of us today, and uh, we set out Probably too many decoys for only being four of us, but you know what it takes. It takes a lot to get it done, so my guess, I bet we kill 25. Right at, if we kill 25, I'll be really happy. Lay down. Good boy. Well, we're finally laid down here. First group to the field right above us. They're looking good. They're working pretty decent. Uh, so this is what I got going on. I got the old Rite right here, and right beside me I got the old Bolt Action 410, baby. So like I said, hopefully we'll get a couple singles that come in this morning sometime, and that's that's where I'm going to try to pluck my snow goose with the old 410 today. So other than that, we're going to let the Rite eat on the flocks, but my goal is to get at least one snow goose down with the 410. That would be epic. Boy, how did the wind shut off on us? That's a bad thing about about Kansas. When the sun comes up, the wind stops. This morning when we were sitting up, it was a really good wind. It was probably 10 to 12 mile an hour. And now, like usual, she gone. Oh, smoke. Ooh, pintails. Look at them pintails. Two specks. Juvie specks. Them are young. Oh yeah, that four pack looks good. See them? That four pack look real good. They're dirty birds. They're juvies. Oh, look at that crow. That's what we need right there. Two of them. What are we doing with our lives? Shoot these dang crows. <laughs> Lay down. These four are just doing it, boys. There's a lot of Rossies up there. 
The four is behind us. Up top, they're starting to spin, though. Oh, they're, they're four are coming back. Oh, yeah, these are really spinning, boys. These are starting to spin. <laughs> Lay down. You want to wait for a while? These four are going to do it right in our lap. Look at this. Yep. Those are rusty face. Shoot them over the top, boys. Oh, <laughs> Did you get him? We missed one? Get that bird. Ah, I shot two. Man, I like this Rite. I'm telling you what. That gun just smokes them, boy. My bird, here, here, here. Dead bird, dead bird. Oh, yeah, I see him, I see him. I see him. Come on, single. Come over the top, buddy. Come over the top, buddy. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. That was a shot. That was insane. That was awesome. Good boy, he, Fred, he. Let's go. Yeah, we got some rusty geese. Yeah, my bird, dead bird, dead bird. Them were some rusty geese, boy. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. That old Rite, boy. I love that Rite. Retake just that retake gets down, man. It's almost good taking the two boss, so you just you pick your shots. You know what I mean? It's another rusty. We shot all four of them, boys. They're all rusty. Look at that. They're straight from the goal for Arkansas or somewhere. Specs. Holy smokes, man. These specs won't leave us alone. I'll have to say the old retake with that kicks high flyer full. I love that gun. The first hunt I did with it on that three-man honker hunt in that mud hole, uh, I, it proved to me that I love the choke, I love the gun, and right there again, I doubled up, and uh, I'm not running a tube today. Oh, there's a lot of white out front, boys. Uh, it, it won't even, I don't think it'll hold five shells. I think I'm holding four shells, and uh, just plucking away, and it's going really good. But gonna try to get a single down here here's another big group if it like I said if it's a big group I gotta run the 12 gauge if it's a if it's a single or a pair I'm gonna try to get one down with the old 410 oh look at that single think the 410's quiet enough boys yeah if this single does it I might try you guys gonna have to back me up if I miss I'm gonna let him get we'll let him get down if he does it oh we're gonna have to put the 410 away for a minute, boys. Oh yeah. Come on with it. Oh, come on with it, by the way. Get down here. Oh, they're liking it. Come on with it, come on with it. Woo! Yeah, they're really liking it, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Holy cow, that's a hawk. We better, we better shoot something here. Sheesh, they're all getting, out, getting behind us now. Oh, here's a single right here, boys. Here's my chance. All right, here's my chance. Dude, that's tungsten TSS 410. 
smoked him. Here, friend. Holy crap. Dude, it obliterated him. Good boy. Here, friend. Oh, my God. Dude, it tore him up. Fred, Fred heal. <laughs> it tore him up. That was all worth it. Dude, I cannot believe it hit him that hard. Dead. I mean, no flopping, just that boy is dead. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. The, this clip's been going for six minutes. And uh, we passed on flock after flock, letting them do it because they liked it so much. And I took my single with the 410. Those tungsten TSS, 410. I mean, lights out. Completely lights out. That was, a, that was about a 15, 20 yard shot. Uh, Woo. Well, we got snow. Yeah, this group looks good. Uh, the amount of specs here is staggering. Um, but I, like in the last 410 video I did, the duck hunt, uh, I had regular still shot, and then I had the tungsten TSS, and the the difference back then was amazing. Uh, I think I shot like six ducks. I shot my limit, I believe, or one short of my limit. I was uh, really concerned on how it was going to perform on geese. And, oof, wow, wow, wow. That's all I can say, wow. I was like, oh, that's good. 410 time, boys. <laughs> if I can shoot this 410 more, I'm going to. Dude, yeah, small bore shotgunning is awesome. If you like small bore shotgunning, whether it's clays or doing stuff like this, smash the thumbs up button, drop a comment down below. I really want to do a 28 gauge. Uh, that's what I'd really like to do. I just need to get my hands on one. But if you have a video idea, just like this one, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. I'm turning it down a little bit as they come like that. See if it helps. Yeah, they're liking it. Come back, one, one more pass and we better smoke them. Oh. Holy. We can wait again if you want. <laughs> oh yeah, they're coming back. I see them, I see them. They're gonna get in here, boys. Yep. Yep. Pick your bird and shoot them. Shoot them right there. What we get two? Hey man, they swung hard. It was kind of hard. They swung at the last second. Good Fred here. Let's go, buddy. Good for a dead bird, dead bird. There we go. We got some Rossies, baby. First Rossi of the morning. Good boy, my bird. Nope, here. Look at that good looking Rossi right there, baby. Yeah. Yeah, boys. That was a hard shot. Yes, sir. Right when I called it, they dipped their shoulder and they sped up. So, did what we could. Oh man, look at this. Holy smokes. <laughs> These specs are loving it. Wow. Wow. Look at these two specs just do. Oh man. Wow. There's a sing oh here we go boys. These three, let's do them up that single up there. Shoot! Ah! Oh, I'm out. With the 410! With the 410! Woo!
Yeah, dude! Oh How God. sick was that? <laughs> dude, I ran out of shells. The retail only holds four. I picked her up and just let her eat, boys. Jeez, that's awesome. Oh, good job, Fred. Here, good boy. That's the 410 bird. He was going away. I hit him in the butt and it still killed him. Dead bird, dead bird, dead bird. That was amazing. If you haven't hit the thumbs up, I, I don't know what else to do to make you guys hit the thumbs up, to be quite honest. That was bad. Good boy. Here, here, here. Here, here, my bird. Sit. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Lay down, Fred. Dude, this 410. Lay down. This 410 is no joke. I'm going to try to use the 410 again. Where's he at? Oh, I see him. Okay, so back me up, boys. Oh, I've hit him right in the butt. Sit. I hit him right in the butt. I got feathers off of him. Darn it, I wish I would have been ready a little sooner. I was loading her up. It takes forever to load this 410 up. Yeah. Well, this is how you load the old 410 here. You put your shells in right there. You bring this tube back down like yonder here. And, and then you click her locker. Oh, hold on. Yep, there we go. Okay. Boom. Boom. All right, there we go. We're good to go now. Man, I wish I would have been ready for that single a little earlier. I... Holy smoke, these are all lessers. Lay down. So cool, man. These dark geese just love it. All morning long, these dark geese balled up just uh, doing it. That's a juvie. That is a juvie right in front of me. Oh my goodness. I'm going to smash him. <laughs> I had to, boys. <laughs> yep, shoot him. <laughs> I told you, I was like, I'm going to smoke him. I had to. <laughs> Oh, he was right there. That, he got pounded, dude. I creamed him. That was awesome. He did now. Oh, his juvie still one in here. Oh, nice. You got one. Dead bird. Oh, God. Get down. Good boy. Here, right here, right here. Right here. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. There we go, another Rossi. I'm going to use, if we have that three pack, I'm going 410, baby. <laughs> yes, here, Fred, here. <laughs> dude, dude, it crushes them. Here, Fred, here, let's go. Right here. Dude. Yeah, it don't even scare the rest of the birds. Look, they're still working. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> Just smoked him. That's the third snow that I've killed with the old 410. Uh, way more than I thought I was going to do. What's nice about it, it's so quiet. Uh, you don't really bother a lot of birds. Look, these birds are right here. It didn't even bother them, man. <laughs> Please smash the thumbs up button. Please let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see a 20 gauge video, I guess we can do that next. Let me know. Come on, four pack. You know you like it. Well, it's sitting right at nine o'clock and uh, 9.03 to be exact. And another feed north of us, I'm guessing three to four miles just got up and there is a ton of birds coming at us. Uh, it's so late in the morning, I don't know how well it's gonna work, but if it works, that, that'll be nice. But as far as the day, as far as how good this hunt is, uh, we haven't shot a ton, but the shots that I've had with the 410, I must say, uh, awesome. So, so rewarding, you know what I mean? 
I was really skeptical on bringing it and, and putting forth the time, you know what I mean, towards it, but I'm glad I did. It's really paid off. I really hope you guys have liked it. Small boar, I'm telling you. Try it, it's fun. Shoot him? Yeah. Shoot him. Ah! Oh man, I couldn't. She wouldn't fire on me, boys. She would not he's going fire. Down. He's going down. He's going down. Yep, he's going down. Oh my God, <laughs> yep, he's dead. Boom. Fred, dead bird. Well, I took one last crack at that. <laughs> I had the one that was going away and he died. I don't know if that was me or not. Good boy, Fred. Dead bird, dead bird. There we go, little Rossies. The Rossies are generous this year, I'm telling you what. That was good though. We killed all three of those and they got down. Woo! -hoo -hoo. The old 410, I don't know what happened. I could not get it clicked off of safety for nothing. Well, it's right at 9.30 and I think we're gonna call it. The reason why it isn't because the birds are done flying yet, it's because of this right here. It is getting nasty. I have a feeling once that top layer uh, completely melts through, it's gonna be really bad trying to get out of here. It's already getting bad as it is. We had two and a half inches of rain two days ago. So, like I said, the top layer is frozen. The bottom, it's a bad deal. But here's the spread, this is where we laid. Uh, nothing fancy, nothing like, nothing different from what we usually do out front. We just have a bunch of family groups. And then the body of the spread, I just wrapped right here pretty much, made a line and we laid to the right side, put a clone to our left side, a clone behind us all in all we have out 50 dozen dive bomb socks 20 dozen dive bomb uh, snow goose silhouettes and then roughly about 20 dozen other decoys so we're sitting right at about 100 dozen 90 dozen but the old 410 i thought the duck hunt was cool this this was cool i have to give it to federal though they provided me with the tss 410 tungsten load it is the heavyweight tss and let me tell you what it packs an absolute punch. I figured if I was gonna actually hit one of the snows uh, before the hunt, I figured if I was actually gonna hit one, I was just gonna cripple it. But every single one I shot, they just, that they, them boys were dead. Well, here we are, not a bad little shoot. Look at these rusty guys. They either came straight from Arkansas or from the Gulf, maybe out of some brine water. 17 total, not bad at all. The Rossies, man, they've been treating us good. The Rossies here in Kansas. Thank goodness for Rossies. They make, they make snow goose hunting great again, let me tell you. Oh, it's muddy. Get it, boy, get it! Oh, it looks like you're gonna make it out, look at that. Oh, it's just that type of mud that sticks to your feet, it sticks to everything. The entire top layer is just slime. Well, we're back. Oh man, we got her loaded down. Check out the poor quad. She's a sagging bag and berry, son. <laughs> She's hurting. The old 450 getting it done. Snow goose hunting. Welcome to snow goose hunting. Muddy quads, muddy dogs, muddy butts, and rusty snow geese. Well, back home here, and let me tell you what, I've just been sitting here cleaning out the trailer, trying to get all the mud at least dry on everything. Everything is just muddy. The bottoms of the totes, the decoys, everything, muddy. So I'm just gonna leave the trailer open, hoping that today it'll dry it out. Today is actually gonna get to like 62 degrees, so should dry everything in the back of that trailer out. But on every hunt, especially every snow goose hunt, I'm always like, man, I wish I would have done this different or that different. On this hunt, first of all, I'm glad that I just decided to take the 410, baby. And uh, thank goodness I had at least two boxes of shells. I think I ended the hunt with, I believe, three to four shells left. So I think I shot six to seven shells out of the 410 total. And I for sure shot three birds. And then on that sailor, I shot at him last and then he fell. So we're gonna leave it at three, two, four, but for sure three birds with the old with the old 410. The old bolt action. Like I said, if if this is the first time y'all have seen this gun in action, this was my very first shotgun I ever had. 
This was the first shotgun I toted around at eight years old, yeah, and uh, quail and pheasant hunted with. And it's crazy how uh, one thing, y'all, my stepdad always told me, he said, Bobby, do ne never, ever, 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 do not ever, don't ever get rid of your guns. Once you have a gun, keep it, especially ones like this that are handed down to you through the generations. This, I believe I am a third, might be a third to fourth, a third or fourth generation owner of this 410. So it's a really special gun. And um, it's funny when I started the YouTube channel, I was like, man, one day I can't wait to use that for a video. And then it was probably two years in, two and a half years in, when I finally used it for the first time. And now here we are, probably on our fifth or sixth video using it. If you guys wanna see me use it more, gotta let me know, drop a comment down below because I love it. So back to the one thing I regret. I regret not putting my 12 gauge down the entire time. Now, I wouldn't have had enough tungsten TSS to do that today. That's one of the main reasons why I couldn't, but, but, but I got to get some more TSS. I want to take the 410, 410 only snow goose hunt. But what I do have is a ton of 20 gauge federal TSS heavyweight tungsten 20 gauge shells. Yes. So if you guys want to see a snow goose hunt with the 20 gauge, 20 gauge only, you know what I mean? You have to drop a comment down below and let me know. But be expecting the lodge videos coming. We're in the process of moving right now. Be expecting some banger snow goose hunts coming. We shot some bands. A lot of good content coming y'all's way. Hit that little notification bell down there because it will notify you when I upload. You don't want to miss any of these lodge videos coming your way. And if you want to help support the channel, go down in the description below. I will link all the ducks, waterfowl, gear, whenever you guys pick something up. You know my spiel. It goes directly to helping me bring you guys more of these videos, and I mean it. If it wasn't for you guys being here purchasing this stuff, the YouTube channel would not remain. But I'm going to get to working on this. I'm going to charge my batteries. We'll see y'all on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget, you are muddy. Oh. Cause I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it